Heck yeah. Hey, how y'all doing out there? You thought I was my brother, didn't you? My long lost second brother from another mother. You thought I was Sammy Shalami with that beautiful hat going out. I'm not Sammy Shalami, you cocksucker. My name's Bobby Dick. How y'all doing out there? That's a beat. D. You could call me short, but I like Bobby Dick because I don't give a shit. I don't care. I'm out here visiting my brother, Sammy Shalami, straight out of Miami, Miami. <laughs> he said, hey, Bobby Dick, I got a hat for you, buddy. I said, you know what, Sammy, I love that hat. But I'm not in the hats. I don't have a factuation for a hat, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you know, he's over here making these videos and he thinks he's like the big time editor guy and knows everything about everything, but he doesn't know. He doesn't know. You think he does a hell of a good job, but Bobby Dick's gonna do a better job. Bobby Dick's gonna bring it straight on in. He's going to put it up in the high side and break it down on the low side because Bobby Dick, I'm sorry, that's me, does it right all the time, not half-assed like Mr. Mr. Hat Guy over there, you cocksucker. Sometimes I sound like Sammy Salami. I'm related to him. What do you expect, you bastard? <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, that's right. That's me, Bobby Dick. You got it straight. I'm not from Miami. I'm from Meeker, Colorado. That's where I'm from. So coming down here to Moab is just an easy situation for me. When I heard Sammy Salami was going to be here, I said, you know what? I got to go see that son of a bitch. That's what I got to do. But you know, I'm gonna go ahead and wear that hat. <laughs> I'm not gonna imitate the guy, no. I'm not gonna do that. He said I could have a hat. So I said, hell yeah, I'm taking that. I'm a taker, not a giver. And that's about what this story's all about. It's about giving, not taking. Bobby Dick, he doesn't give, he takes. You see what I'm talking about? You see, I was nice to my brother Sammy for him to give me that hat. And it was a con job, is what it was. <laughs> Shit, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my God, this is the first time I've ever been on a video. <laughs> yeah, you bastard. <laughs> yeah. This little story here is about giving to other people. Do I give to anybody? Hell no, I don't give a give to me, you son of a bitch. Reach deep down in that hole in your pocket and give it to. Good old dick, head, son of a bitch, Bobby Dick to me. Because I ain't giving you nothing. I'm not giving you shit. But this is little stories about, you know, giving to somebody that really needs it. I need it. <laughs> That's right. But you know, Bobby Dick says, hell yeah, if you want to give to somebody, do it. But when you lose your ass, don't come whining and crying to me. You bastard son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you cocksuckers. Okay, so let's get on with the story. So what the problem is here is this guy named Norm, whoever the hell that is, I've never met the guy. He actually bought this stupid car from somebody else that had heart problems and, and was losing his house. I don't give a shit. You know, what about me? Maybe I got heart problems, you bastard. Give me some money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But, yeah, so anyway, they get this stupid car, and then they build this car, and, you know, they try to sell this car, but we're going back into the beginning when they actually tried to sell the car before they built it, you dumbasses. I could have told you. Bobby Dick could have told you, don't do it. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time when you're telling yourself, I'm gonna make a nine thousand dollars, I'm gonna make ten thousand dollars. You ain't gonna make shit, that's a car piece of shit. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So let's get on with the story. I've wasted a lot of your time. Am I sorry? Hell no, I'm not sorry, you son of a bitch. I'm not sorry. I wanna waste more of your time. Cause you're a dumbass. <laughs> 
Bobby Dick saying, hey, I got me a free hat. Do I like the hat? I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm going to get me some more hats from that stupid ass Sam Slam. I'm going to call him in to give me about nine or ten of that stupid hat so I can, so I can use it to keep the sun out of my eyes down here, down here in Moab, Utah. What a shitty place this is. What a shitty... I don't care. I'm Bobby Dick, you cocksucker. I'm from Baker, Colorado. <laughs> you already know that, though, so let's get all this stupid story and get down the line. It's a dumb story is what it is, but it's a story, you know? You know, stupid guy named Norm, he gave this guy some money for a stupid car. He got stuck with the stupid car. What are we supposed to do? We're going back in the beginning. <laughs> He got the car and was parked out in the back of this dumbass guy's shop. His name's Pete. So what? I don't give a shit. You know, I'm over here visiting my brother. He doesn't like me. Yeah, Pete, my friend Pete, hell, I, he ain't my friend. He ain't shit to me about that. <laughs> okay, you got the message. Let's get on with the story. <laughs> Woo! I'm getting all worked up and lathered. Ah! You cocksuckers. <laughs> Bobby Dick right here. You got it. I don't give a shit. You know, help somebody out if you want. Help me. <laughs> you know, you want to help somebody, give me something. All right? Send me some money. I can use it. Kind of like this freebie bullshit ugly hat right here. We got to go. <laughs> Bobby Dick, don't forget it right here. Am I a dickhead? Hell, yes, I am. Do I care? No, I don't. Do I like you? Probably not. And in the end, you got the message, bastard. You got it right there. Yeah, get the hell out of my face, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Whoa, baby, you know what I'm talking about. Woo, yeah, that's right. We're going to put it backwards. We're going to put it up backwards and try to be like that dumbass Pete. <laughs> Woo, baby. Right there, you bastard. <laughs> Bobby Dick, in your face. Right there, you son of a bitch. What we got here for sale, we got a 1934 Ford Street Beast brand convertible car. This is an unmolested uh, vehicle kit. Uh, normal price on this thing is $15,750. It comes complete with all your steel structure. We're going to show you the frame first. You can see that it's got a 2x4 boxed frame. Um, the gentleman that we got the car from was going to put air ride suspension on it. So it does have partial suspension on the front, but it is not complete. Along with the purchase of the vehicle, you get the five, no, four roller. Uh, now these are four and a half um, lug. These are five lug by four and a half Ford tires. You get those with it. But if you look real close inside, you can see there's the frame, which is completely built specifically for this car. We're going to come around the front here, or should I say the back. We're going to look inside, and you can see that it's got the firewall steel structure no wood involved in this it comes with a complete floor pan um, there's your brake pedal right there you can uh, actually see that this car has never been built it's brand new still sitting on the original factory crate from the factory you can see the doors have never been cut out in it we're going to go around here and look in the trunk there's your 14 gallon gas tank that comes with the vehicle and then here's another picture of the steel structure frame that is with the car when it's sold. Now this is the Cabriolet model, which means it's a convertible. We do have the complete 100% convertible top that goes with the vehicle from the factory. Very, very hard to find, very rare. Let's go ahead and look at all the parts that come with this car that is for sale. All right, as we look outside here, you can see wrapped up is two brand new triple chrome plated bumpers. Up here, speaking of chrome, we got the chrome grill 
uh, underneath that is the grill shell, fiberglass grill shell. You got your two side panels left and right. You got your upper dash. You got your lower dash. You got all of your fiberglass pieces and components that go on the bottom of the vehicle to hold it together. You also get, which is very hard to find and rare, this is a cap that goes on the back. If you want to take the convertible top off, you wrap that with some material, and then you can go ahead and cover the back end of the vehicle to, uh, as a headrest or whatever. Very hard to find. If you look right here, here's all your steel structure. Um, these are your hinge posts. All your steel structure, when it's put together, becomes a uh, unibody car, which is actually a roll cage built around you. And very, very strong, sturdy vehicle when it's all built. Here's all the other steel structure that comes with it. This is all the steel pieces and more that are complete with this vehicle. Included with the vehicle is a quick wire. Um, St. Francis wire harness, which is a 12 circuit wire harness. Very easy and simple. You got your instructional booklet. All the hardware comes with that. Brand new, never used. This is a brand new wire harness that goes to the car. You got your six page, six pack gauge set. Um, this is actually a factory option when you bought the vehicle. Um, they do work well. If you don't want them, you can buy some other gauges, but actually when these are installed into the dash, they actually look really nice and work well. Miscellaneous stuff going on in here. Um, here's our tracks for the windows on the door. Uh, we got our felt channel down inside there, and we also got extra stuff that goes with it that the previous owner bought with it. Um, what is this? Okay, here's our window crank. Those are the window cranks for the doors. We come over into this box. You got your headlights. You got your tail lights, you got your seat tracks inside here, you got a bunch of stuff going on. Um, everything that you need to build this car is right here. All right, if Norm could come over here, we'll go ahead and go through this box. You got a wood grain steering wheel, a GT steering wheel that comes with it, brand new. This is the kicker right here. This is the factory convertible top. It's what color is that, Norm? Tan. We got a tan convertible top that goes with it. Um, very hard to find. That is for that vehicle. It's a tan ca cabriolet top. We got some miscellaneous other stuff here that goes with it. A little hot rod performance stuff that the previous owner bought. All the door rubber, all the nuts. Go grab that nuts and bolts. You can see that all the nuts and bolts and all the hardware come with this kit. This is once again a 100% complete kit for you to build at home in your garage. So we met this guy, and he was uh, an old drag racer, sprint car racer. Right, right. He, he, he actually owns, has the uh, record for the fastest runtime in a jet car in the right. United States. Okay. So, but anyway, he had had triple bypass surgery, and he was having a lot of health problems. Yeah. He needed a roof on his house. He had this car. He owns a bunch of hot rods already. Just couldn't build it because he does His health is too bad. So he needed a roof. He said, "If you'll put a roof on our house, I'll give you the car." So. I don't give a shit. You know, help somebody out if you want. Help me. <laughs> so we spent $8,500 on the roof. We had plywood that was busted up. It, it turned out to be a pretty big fiasco. We thought it was going to be around $4,800. turned out to be $8,500. And that's basically what we're asking for the car. $8,500. Am I right, Norm? Right. And there's two choices of drivetrain that I have. Okay, so you do have a drivetrain with I, it? I do. Okay, have, what do you got? I've got a 350 350. Uh -huh. That's an old truck engine, but it runs good. Nothing wrong with it. Okay. And uh, then I have an LT1 with all the wire harnesses out and of it. The wire harnesses, everything. Everything out of a 94. Okay. Board. You bastard, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you cocksucker. Anything else you want to mention, Norm? I, I have the instruction booklet. All the paper is with That's it. right. Every, everything that you need. We got the bill of sale. We got the Florida State uh, certified title to transfer. We got everything, everything. right? Everything. Okay, there you go. All right, give me a call. We need to get this thing out of here. All Norm's asking for is his money back, not another penny more. He's just got to get his cash. He's got bills to pay, too. We were actually going to build this car and try to make a profit on it, but we don't have time. My friend Pete's going to Moab, Utah, and Norm has to get back to work laying concrete. All right. All right. Well, we're over here at the storage units, and it's not really a good day for our buddy Norm, nitpick Norm. Um, we had to bring the 34 Ford convertible over here. You can see it right here behind me. Norm, come here, man. What is all this grease on this running board? What's that going on? You got some kind of grease or something? 
leaking out of here or what? You better check that, dude. Something's going on there. Oh, I bet it's that that stupid uh, power steering rack. Oh, ain't that a bitch. Got power steering fluid all over the car now. So, we're looking at a car that was kind of a gift. Not for Norm or me, but for the guy that we got it from. And the reason this car is in Norm's possession is because he helped a guy out. He didn't want to help the guy out, but he helped him and in return we thought we were going to be able to sell the car. Now, 15 years ago, these cars were worth a lot of money. They used to bring a lot of money. But for some oddball reason, these things have fell off the cliff and went swimming in Niagara Falls. I don't know what the situation is or how it all worked, but it did it. It's a done deal, and these cars are not really bringing anything at all. So what we did here, this is a brand new car, brand new. When I say brand new, it's never been on the road. You can see it. And we built the car as a body on roller thinking that we were going to sell it. We've been advertising this thing for almost a year. It just ain't selling. So what Norm's doing is he's going to put it over here in his storage for now, which is basically a little garage. He can actually work out of here if he wanted to. Look how beautiful and big this place is. So let me ask you, nitpick Norm, what's your, what's your opinion on the Street Beast scenario here, the Street Beast story? The street we helped the guy out. You well, didn't want the car in the first place. No, I didn't. We helped the guy out. We got him his roof. We got him everything it took so he wouldn't lose his house and he got his insurance. He was in bad. He was spitting blood up when we were sitting there I at know. the table talking. What are you thinking about the whole deal now that it's come down to this, that it's a storage unit action? It'll sell eventually. You think it'll sell? Yeah, it will. We had a guy come over that insulted you, Norm. Yeah. He kept you there for three hours. You took every nut and bolt and wire harness and everything out of the car and showed him exactly what you had. And what did he tell you? You told him. He, I, he said, well, what are you going to tell you? I said, look, if you think you're going to offer me 5000 forget it. The kit is fifteen seven with no work done to it. And then, what does he do? Call he calls up. you on Tuesday, and what did he offer you? $5,000. Do you think he did that as an insult or a, a scamulous joke? No, I think... To make you feel like, I'll show this cocksucker. No, I think that... Uh, Is that what you think he did? No, I think because I said 5000 he probably st stuck in his head. He thought, he said he'd take 5000 Oh, so you think this yeah. guy had a little bit of Alzheimer's disease going on. He said 5000 yeah. yeah. So we got a 34 Ford Street Beast car here. It's got brand new frame. Everything on it's brand new. It's got the Mustang two front suspension, am I right? Yep. Uh, with two inch lowered control arms. So that's all brand new. Now you do got a power steering and a manual rack with it, am I correct? That's right, now the power steering just leaked all over the dang car. Right. That's all right. Good thing my friend Pete primed it before that happened. Let me ask you this question though. Where's the motor training, Norm? I had two different ones and I sold both. Mm -hmm. I think that's where you screwed up. You're the one. If it had a motor, I didn't tell you nothing. If it had a motor and tranny in, I think it would sell. Did you have a carburetor engine? Yes. Where's that? Remember you brought a guy. A guy called you up about finishing the street. Oh, that's right. We felt sorry for him. Yeah. We felt sorry for him and sold that motor and tranny too. Yes. Seems like that's all we do is feel sorry for people and help everybody else out. And we're stuck at the end of the line here, dude. Give to me, you son of a bitch. Reach deep down in that hole in your pocket and give it to good old dick, head son of a bitch, Bobby Dick to me. So what's the conclusion on the Street Beast story, Dor? It's like this, B. What? It'll sell eventually. You think it'll usually sell? It'll sell. Do you think that you and your boys might have to put a drivetrain in it? I might have to put a drivetrain in it before it's over. Yeah. So you got all the glass with it, you got all the trim, you got seats, got the top, got the, got the, top, got the, the frame struck, everything. So, Norm's begging everybody out there, he's asking you, please buy this car from me. I could have told you, Bobby Dick could have told you, don't do it, you're wasting your time.
You're wasting your time and you're telling yourself, I'm gonna make a nine thousand dollars, I'm gonna make ten thousand dollars. You ain't gonna make shit because the card's a piece of shit. So you had it on Facebook, what happened on that? I've had two or three people say they want it and then they never show they up. They never show up. That's Facebook buyers. They're, yeah. They're all Facebook crap. buyers are bullshit. Let me ask you this. What's the best deal you're gonna take on this? Now this is worldwide video going on here, but best price, how much, Norm? Body unroller, brand new. You take it home, you finish it out, you put the motor transmission in, you put the interior in, you pay it, you wire it up, and down the road you go to your local malt shop, we might say, car show action. 11.5. <laughs> Whoa, baby, you know what I'm talking about. 11.5. Takes it. Cash money, $11,500. Contact Norm. His number's right here. You can see it right there. Give this guy a call. Norm out, the original owner out. Don't him out of debt. I want everybody to look at this car, and I want you to help Norm. Give to me, you son of a bitch. Anything else you got to say about the car, Norm, or are we done? We're done. All right, you take care and good luck. Bobby Dick says, hell yeah, if you want to give to somebody, do it. But when you lose your ass, don't come whining and crying to me. Did we tell everybody it had LED lights? Look at that. I don't give a shit. Brand new bumpers. I don't give a shit. Did you say you had some wheels that are going with it? What did you say? I, I'm gonna go look at them. What do we got? What kind of wheels are they? Going? I don't know. I gotta go look. We don't even. <laughs> okay. So we don't. For, for, so as it sits right now, we got rollers. Yes. Okay. It's a roller situation over here. My friend Pete's in nitpick North storage unit. And if you're interested in this old dog, contact Norm and do my friend Pete a square deal and get it out of his hair. Stupid car. He wants it gone. It's got to go. It's got to get out of here. He takes $11,500 for this thing. You come pick it up or maybe he can meet you halfway or whatever. Let's just get this thing gone. And remember one thing. You should always help the brother out that's always helping other brothers out. Because if you're not helping the brother out, the brother can't help you. We'll see you later. All I can say is it'll be nice to get rid of this thing one day soon. You know what I'm saying? Get the hell out of my face, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, you know what I'm talking about. Woo, yeah, that's right. We're going to put it backwards. We're going to put it up backwards and try to be like that dumbass Pete. got some special trick on it. I don't know how it works. Woo, baby. Right there. You bastard. Bobby Dick in your face. Right there, you son of a bitch.